and they come a long way. And now, now they start asking me things. They're asking me things coming up. How was my match? Was it right? Was it, you know, at one time when I was when I was breaking in on the, on uh, studio wrestling there and that, there was a guy from, I think he was from Buffalo, a great guy, man, Baron Gatoni. Oh yeah. You remember? You know, remember him? Oh yeah. And he come up and he looked. He watched my match. And after the show was over, after the, my match was over, I come out and he, and he told me what I'd done wrong. And then he said to me, he said, "Do you mind if I tell you, have you advice you, give you a that? I said, "No." I said, "I'd appreciate it if you, any time you're here, you watch my match and let me know." And that's what he'd done, and he helped me a lot, and I I appreciated it. You know, he was he was a great guy. He always told me, watched my match every time we was in town, man. And he told me what I was doing right and what, what I was doing wrong. And I always asked him questions on it. And I was I'm thankful for him, you know. Like I said, a lot of guys helped me out. George Steele helped me out. Waldo Von Eric was a great help to me. And, uh, you know, Bruno was too. And, uh, and uh, that's... I like it, you know, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do now. Return a favor to the business. That's what where, I'm, where I'm, is, I'll, I'll shut up, but where primarily, where do you live and where is this promotion? Are you in uh, New York or, or uh, no, Pennsylvania? I'm in Pittsburgh. Okay. And this promotion is in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> and, uh, we do a lot of um, shows for uh, benefits. We help people out, you know. Now we got one coming up for these uh, three police three police officers was killed here. We got a show coming up, I think, in, in a month for them. You know, a benefit for them. And like we done the school for the deaf and you know, stuff like that. But we want we run about uh, once a month at the Moose in Pittsburgh. I've got to ask you. This is off topic, Evan. I don't uh, don't clobber me. But anytime I go to Pittsburgh, and I've been there, uh, uh, you know, Bruno and some others have taken me there, you know, every five, six years I end up there. Uh, what's the name of that? There's a sandwich that's only indigenous to Pittsburgh, and it's got, oh. like, coleslaw right. and onion rings. Right. It's out of this world. It's you, you got to have it if you're, you've never been to uh, right. Pittsburgh. What many brothers. For many brothers. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, it's amazing. Food, the, boy, the food is there, and and you you know if you want to think about Pittsburgh, remember uh, uh, the scene from the Deer Hunter where they go up there to the mountains to, yeah. to actually on at the beginning. And there's just some beautiful places. You know, a lot of people don't know that about Pittsburgh, but there's some. Uh, oh, I know that. You know, yeah, beautiful places, great sports teams, real passionate yeah. fans. You know, not just wrestling, but uh, Ev, I'll uh, I'll throw it back to you. Okay. Yes, uh, Mr. Durst, so uh, uh, recently uh, one of the greats unfortunately passed in Baron Cicluna. What's your memories of uh, the oh, Baron? Yeah, the Baron, he, he was a great friend too. In fact, me and him, we were, we were supposed to be the Thursday before he died. We were going, we uh, were supposed to be at the depth in Wurzquifer all the sports figures in in Pittsburgh, and uh, Bruno got uh, Man of the Year, I think, or, or Sportsman of the Year or something. He was honored there, and uh, I think we was uh, we were supposed to be there that Thursday, and I think Baron died Wednesday. But I, I, I just seen him just recently, too, before he died, and because we'd done an autograph session and that, you know, and he, like he said, I, he looked tired to me. Uh, but he was yeah. he was another great guy. Always told me stuff to do. You know, he helped me out too. I can't say nothing bad about him. He's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of the greats recently have um, have passed. Unfortunately, Gene Kaninsky and the Baron and Captain Lou and uh, yeah. John Tolis and yeah, it's uh, it's really unfortunate because. Oh, really? uh, uh, I seen Lou Albano last 
summer, I think it was, before he died. And uh, I talked to him up the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame up in Amsterdam, New York. And uh, I talked to him, and he's, uh, he's, he used to call me Frankie. And mm -hmm. I knew something was wrong when he said Frank, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll tell you, the one that really shocked me when I heard he died was Walter Von Erich. Sure, sure. You know, he was a good friend with me, man. You know, he was... He, he, had battled, uh, he had battled testicular cancer and won it about three years ago, too. Oh, did he? I didn't know that. Huh. Huh. But, he, uh, man, you're talking about some great, great talent. I mean, uh, uh, Lou Albert, perhaps the greatest mouthpiece. What a, what a great one. He and Blassie together, that was just magic. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Blassie was a great manager. Uh, and Lou, he was tremendous. And Louis Chan was tremendous. He, uh, on his own, he, uh, you know, on the other side of things, uh, he was uh, just as good a draw to the garden as uh, Bruno. Uh, uh, yeah. Alpano, the long, several-year feud with Strongbow, it was just... You know, Lou was uh, very unique. Nobody ever liked him, and there will never be anybody uh, like him again, sadly. No, no. Lou was one of a kind. I had some good times with Lou. Him and Tony. Tony Altamore. And uh, Dominic. Dominic's another class guy. A lot of people don't give him uh, his props. But he, you know, of course, with yeah. Bruno went to Japan many times, went to South America. Uh, Dominic worked for everybody, and he worked everywhere. Well, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. In fact, he was with us Saturday and Sunday, too. 